Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know, it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about Green Machine, and whether or not Green Machine is a badge that you guys should have equipped in NBA 2K20 after patch 10. Today, we got none other than the best playmaker that I've seen today on NBA 2K20, Chrome Antenna. Chrome, please introduce yourself to everybody, let them know who you are and where they can find you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What I do, what I do, it is your friendly neighborhood point guard slash lock slash 2K expert, uh, Chrome Antenna, and you can find me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and wherever 2K is played. So, yeah, that's me. Chrome greens almost everything he shoots out there, so I'm like, you know, why can't I shoot like that? He's not a pure playmaker. We probably have very similar shooting attributes. Uh, he, I'm sure, Chrome, Chrome, what's your shooting attributes, your three-point shooting? So, with the plus one boost at 99.9, .9, my mid-range is an 86 and my three-pointer is an 82. When I lose the plus one, it's an 81. You know, guys, before meeting Chrome Antenna and seeing what he can do out there, I thought Green Machine was a must have badge. But then I saw Chrome Antenna playing on his pure playmaker and shooting greens from range extended areas. And I found out Chrome didn't use the Green Machine badge and I took it off my player and it worked wonders. So, Chrome, please tell us what you think about the Green Machine badge. I have to give a little context. When I made my playmaker, I should have made him with 15 shooting badges instead of 14. And so I didn't have the act of, of one additional badge point to put on Green Machine. Um, so a lot of times I would sacrifice difficult shots or catch and shoot um, for Green Machine, Silver or Gold. And it turns out um, through a little bit of testing and experiment that I didn't really need it. I used it on Bronze and I green just fine. And I'm like, you know what? Let me take it off and put on Volume Shooter and see how that works for me. And lo and behold, didn't need it. Don't need it. I put it on my lock, didn't need it. On my pure play, don't need it. I got my O threat, don't need it. <laughs> so so that's up. three players that you just don't use Green Machine on. And if you guys are not familiar right. with Chrome Antenna, if you haven't come to our live stream and see what he does out there, see where he shoots from and they're almost always green, you got to come through and check it out to see for yourself. We're going to show Chrome's badges. I'm going to pull up Chrome's badges. We're going to talk some more about Green Machine. I want to tell you guys that I was able to test this out myself i tried it out a little bit yesterday on, on yesterday's live stream and i also went out today me and chrome were running earlier today going crazy in the park and i was greening from range extended areas and also greening from the corner so we're gonna pull up uh chrome's badges right now and we're gonna let chrome talk about you know what how he approached his badge setup my badge setup tends to fluctuate um between uh well current well currently as you on the screen here i got bronze difficult bronze clutch and bronze volume with silver data and obviously the, the the golden trio gold quick gold range and gold hot zone hunter um typically i fluctuate between um gold dead eye versus no clutch shooter um clutch shooter is really good in the park you want to play prom i actually take it off and so typically it's always either um, bronze, uh, difficult, silver volume, and silver data. That's been the setup for me lately. Um, but, but when I play park, I would usually run three bronze, um, one silver, and three gold badges. All right, guys. So as you can see, that's Crow Mantana's shooting badges on his playmaker. Now, you, like I said, you have to see it to believe it, to see if it works or not. And we live stream almost every single day on five different platforms simultaneously as Facebook Mixer, Twitch, DLive, and we also live stream on YouTube. So come on out and see what Chrome can do, see what I'm doing out there without the Dream Machine badge. We're going to get on over into Chrome's lockdown shooting badges. So, you know, there's not just one player that Chrome plays on and he's not using the Green Machine badge. So, Chrome, if you could tell us a little bit about your lockdown and how you shoot without using the Green Machine badge. Uh, definitely, for sure. So, my lockdown is a green and red pie chart inside out score. Um, we should have the link in, in the bottom of the description, by the way, um, for that build. Um, that build's a little unique because you can dribble, it can shoot. But my shooting badges, as you can see on the screen here, are silver catch and shoot, silver quick draw with release 38, and Hall of Fame dead eye, hot zone 100, and range extender. Obviously, no green machine. I actually experimented with this in team prom. I play competitive prom pretty much every single night uh, these days. And uh, yeah, um, the setup is really solid. I used to rock, uh, I used to rock gold catch, silver dead eye, and bronze difficult. I think. Um, but since I made that switch to go green machine, I've seen actually better success because i hit 38 and 40 contested green again green machine is not a necessity for me 
and I'm a jump shot, you know me? And I could attest to all of this, man. I took off Green Machine. Now again, guys, remember, I thought it was a must-have badge. I've been running Green Machine since I was able to equip it. Since I got enough badges up, since I maxed out my shooting badges, I've been using Green Machine because hearsay in the 2K community says that you need to have Green Machine. The pros have run a diamond setup. They run Green Machine, yep. uh, Quick Draw, Hot Zone Hunter, and what's the top one? Um, Dead yeah. Eye. Yeah, so they that's the diamond setup for the pros, and they're recommending Green Machine. Now, I don't know necessarily if the pros run on different settings or whatnot, but it seems to be that I was running in the park and I did not have any Green Machine, and we were shooting like crazy out there. So, well, it's two players out there, me and Chrome Antenna, that do not necessarily need the Green Machine. But if you guys are goaded out there, if you feel like Green Machine, if there's some sort of placebo, effect that you got going on and you feel like green machine is goaded for you please let us know in the comments section below because we would love to hear from you so chrome antenna can you send us off with your final thoughts on you know shooting badges and also the green machine badge and how unnecessary it seems to be in nba 2k20 after patch 10. well Take after patch 10 we we know a lot more whites going um that's one especially whites with the meter on um, but if you shoot with your meter off and you're able to master your jump shot, to be honest, you don't need it. Um, green machine only activates after you hit your first two jumpers anyway. So if you can green your first two without without green machine even kicking in, why even bother with the bags? If you can green the first two, you can green the next two, and then the next two, and then so on and so forth. And so again, this is Chrome Antenna. I don't think you need green machine. I think it's dead. And I think uh, we're starting a new wave here. I think you get rid of it. Hey, there it is. You guys heard it first here at All City Live TV. Chrome Antenna, we out here, man. We're trying to create the best content for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative and helpful, please consider uh, subscribing to our channel. Chrome Antenna's YouTube channel is going to be in the description below. There's going to be a link for it there. So please be sure to check out Chrome Antenna. One of the best players, period. Point blank, period. One of the best players I've seen in NBA 2K20. So y'all, go check out Chrome Antenna. And we appreciate having you here at All City Live TV. Chrome, it's always a pleasure running with you. Thank you so much, my guy. You have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Easy, y'all.